Hey, what's up everybody? It's Joel back again with another video. So today I'm just gonna do a quick uh, walkthrough with uh, my DTF printer, I, like what I do like um, when I'm about to print. So I wanna walk you through a quick uh, print that I'm doing for my own personal brand. It's a Halloween theme, since you know Halloween's just around the corner. So I just wanna test out uh, this, this design, print it out. Um, so yeah i hope i hope you enjoy it so i'm going to walk you through uh quick uh settings on the uh rip software that i'm using i'm using the acro rip 9 um i'm using it just because uh because everybody out there starts off with this program and i just want uh yeah to show people how to use it anyway without further ado uh let's start on uh, the computer so all right let's go jump into it all right, so we're gonna open up Acarip. Here it is. Uh, I would make a video, um, a, well, a better video with, with the, like an instructor video, but uh, I'm just too lazy to get my program up on my computer. So this is just faster. So anyway, uh, I have my image um, down here. This one we're going to print out. Uh, so let's just say you're barely opening it up. You could uh, right click on the image and hit open and then it'll open up uh, image. Whatever you're liking doesn't really matter. Um, so anyway, I'm doing a left chest print. So this is a Halloween theme. So what we want to do is first is obviously go in, into layout and then we want to see the size of the image, which is right here. And then we're just going to put it the size. Let's just say, well, I wanted three and a half, so I'll leave it at three and a half, but just to show you, boom, and then it resizes it. And I'll, I'll give you another example. Let's put 10 inches or something and then it'll resize it for you. Um, so let's go back to three and a half. There it is. And I'm going to make, uh, probably a whole sheet. So here's a quick tip on under the repeat bar. You're going to go on the X axis and then just click the little up arrow, I'd say. And then if you want to duplicate it like in, in rows for it to go down, just click that as well. And then you could do the spacing in between. I'm gonna put one inch, I, just because, yeah, well, why not? And then we're gonna go into printer, make sure you have it in the right settings. I'm gonna go 14 by 720, just because it's a high resolution, uh, resolution, sorry. <laughs> uh, picture already, it's 112 DPI, so we're good. Um, and then here are my settings for those of you asking, I don't have a profile for this, uh, image. So yeah, there's no ICC profile. As you can tell, it says off down here. So what I do is 45 color, 65 white. And then here are my other settings. Um, if you want to copy them, go for it. If not cool, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's not a big secret. Uh, and then we're going to go in white and make sure when you do white, you have, um, cause it usually auto populates to gradient white under. So make sure you have it under a hundred percent white under any colored pixel and make sure the ink limit is a hundred. Um, and if you have like white underneath or, or just, if you're going to quick tip, I know it's a little off topic, but if you have just a pure white print, you want to go in here, hit white highlight, and you could put it up to uh, 200%, but I leave it at 100, and your white prints will come out white. So basically what it does, it it um, adds like double the white, and I don't know, it's, I'm not going to go into it, but uh, yeah, so that's another quick tip. And what I like to do is uh, the, the pixels of like, 
This is basically the white layer where it's cut off between the color ink and the white ink. I like to leave it at six. For me, that's fine. Um, you could put it at five. Five is fine as well, but I like mine at six. Um, and then if you want to check and see if there's a white layer underneath the entire image, you could just hit white for the view. And this is all the white that's going to be on top of the image. So then I'm going to put it back to color. And yeah, so this is basically ready to print. And uh, hold on, let me double check my settings just in case. It's ready. All right, so yeah, everything looks good. So then we're just gonna go back to the printer tab and oh, make sure your image is mirrored. So if you click on any of these icons up here, it's gonna tell you mirror. Yeah, make sure it's mirrored. And then just hit the little printer. Make sure that print color first and color white are check marked. That's important or else it's not gonna work. And I left the resolution at the 1440 by 720. So then we just hit print. And then it's gonna probably take, uh, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes for this since they're smaller images. So I'm not gonna show you the whole entire process of the 10 minutes. I'll show you just little snippets of it. So yeah. Let's move on to that.